and welcome to our business masterclass and the third module in the learning series of business models. My name is Karin Andersson and I am employed at RISE, Research Institute of Sweden. At RISE I am a researcher but also a PhD student. My colleague Mohamed Reza is a research assistant at SLU, the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences. Mohamed Reza has written his thesis about business model innovation within the agricultural sector. Both Mohamed Reza and I and project members in the Rubismo project. This masterclass is established through a European Commission program, Horizon 2020, for research and innovation. The masterclass contains four modules. The first module comprehends business models and introduces the business model canvas. The second module explores the business model canvas value proposition. Where the third handles the right hand side, in other words, the customer side of the business. The last and the fourth module explores the bits and pieces of the left hand side of the business model canvas. This is the third module and will, and will therefore focus on the customer side of the canvas. Please, as an inspirational video, look at this on Ted's talk. You can find the link below the video. If you are looking at this video on YouTube, you can find also the link in the video description. Thank you so much, Kai. Very inspiring and instructive video about the business model canvas that today we want to work on its right hand side. This business model canvas is the result of Alexandre Osterwalder's PhD thesis and it has brought about transformation in the way companies and entrepreneurs act. He talked about the tools and the role of internet which is so close to our today's practical example. So before I go through the right hand side of the business model canvas let me introduce you business model pillars and sustainable business model. Generally, three main pillars are identified through which a business model can be analyzed to examine the issues of sustainability. As you can see, the first is value proposition, mentions to the types of product or service that a business seeks to provide. The second is value creation and delivery which connect the business to the end customer through essential activities. And the last is value capture points to the base that lead to earn money through delivered processes and created value. Let me remind you again that if this equation holds true, we can call a business model sustainable. It means that we have to create more value than we capture and in addition we have to capture more value than it costs to deliver that value. If you remember I have mentioned in the previous session that getting the business model and value proposition in the right side needs back and forth process. For example we zoom in to the customer value proposition to create value for customer and zoom out to analyze if we can profitability create, deliver and capture value around this customer value proposition. A business model has three main components, creating value, delivering value and capturing value. And it shows that the business model revolves around value. Value creation is the heart of business model and comes from new markets and business opportunities that can lead to value capture through delivering goods and services to the customers. So here is a specific order to develop a business model using Canvas. And as you know, today we want to focus on its right hand side, which is called value creation. We have already worked on value proposition that a company seeks to provide for its customer segments. But to complete this side, we need to add two more blocks, channels and customer relationships. They explain how a product
product or service should reach customers and how a company can support the customers in this way. Briefly, let me remind you channels and customer relationships with a flashback to our first session. As for the channels, vehicles transport tourists from the airport to the company Virira, and the company teaches courses externally and join different networks. In addition, they are proposing to replicate their business model in a refugee area. And referring to the company bio on, to improve customer relationships, the company is licensing out its technology to customers and meanwhile defines production standards and identifies new areas of application to maintain its innovation. Okay, now it's time to go more in detail to describe the right hand side of the business model campus and I will explain this order step by step. But before I start, please go to the Rubismo virtual library and read through the case Panel Local. You can find the link in the video description called Panel Local if you are watching the video on YouTube. In the next slide, you will also be shown a short video of that company. Since 2010, a new software revolutionizes the operation of food businesses in short circuits in France. The founder, Ludovic de Beaurepaire, was working as a software engineer with his in-laws working as local farmers. He recognized how internet could face the needs of people working in short circuits and created Panier Local, local basket. At the beginning, the software was focused on online ordering. But now it's a complete tool, allowing small businesses to organize their administrative, commercial, logistic and organizational aspects. Plus, all these services are financially accessible and adapted to small food producers and companies, proposing a lower cost for a professional quality service. Next to individual customers, Panier Local offers the opportunity for farmer associations or groups of food producers to share costs and use the software on a monthly subscription basis. Manger Bio is one of them and they appreciate the personal assistance to implement the program. The team of Ludovic tries to satisfy each customer by adaptive and evolving maintenance of the software. Each customer implements the software on his own website, offering an online ordering system through a virtual store. This enables a new direct contact between producer and consumer, thereby reducing gas emissions and food waste, as the production is always adapted to the real demand. The management software facilitates administrative tasks, creates new activities on farms, and establishes new markets from farm to plate via the internet. That is the trademark of Panier Local. Let me start with the customer segments. Customer segments is the first and most important structure of the business model campus. To meet the needs and interests of customers, a company should be able to divide them into similar groups. And as I've already mentioned in the first session, customers can be divided into different sections in terms of geography, social characteristics, and demographics. But let me add that the term segment normally relates to the product market metrics. As you can see, putting products or services on the one axis and possible target groups on the other, a company can choose for different strategies. The first is market penetration, increasing the sales of existing products to the existing market. The next is product development, introducing new products to the existing market. The third is market development, 
entering a new market using existing products. And the last is diversification, entering new markets by introducing new products. This metrics allows companies to choose the best possible combination based on the product and market situation. So the job is to find which boxes have the most potential. In other words, which combination of the products and customers is likely to bring the best revenue to the company. Therefore, the term segment falls out as a result of such an exercise. Now let's look at to the panel locals customer segments. As you can see, there are individual producers and producer groups, including collective catering, groups of farmers selling to individuals and food producers or processors selling to local professionals. So the company has a group of customers who have similar needs and behaviors. In fact, they need a tool that can connect them to the final consumer. And after identifying the need of this group, the company created a collective internet tool with attractive prices and services to all types of users. In addition, in order to have dynamic services, they combined the knowledge of various specialists to help producers manage their business. Okay, now that the value has been created, we need to know through which channels customers can reach it. A channel is an interface between a company and customer. And in fact, customers gain information about the products or services through various channels. We can have different kinds of channels, such as physical, digital, and even direct or indirect channels. In recent years, for example, internet has been an alternative to the personal selling. It shows low cost and can reach a wide range of customers. In addition, the benefit of using this kind of channel is that we can control the sales price per product. Back to the case, we can see that customers have accessed the software via the web. The word of mouth has helped the company to be seen in the market and furthermore, the company participates in local and professional agricultural events to increase visibility. Okay, let me add that internet can sometimes damage a business due to the lack of face-to-face -face interaction, and therefore it can reduce the likelihood of customer loyalty. So in addition to the internet, customer availability and digital knowledge are important. For example, in this case, the company has gathered many specialists with different knowledge to support its customers. Overall, it has been suggested that keeping balance between different types of channels can improve the customer experience and ensure higher returns on sales. The next block is the customer relationships, which has a major impact on the customer satisfaction and loyalty. Gaining a new customer means convincing a person to choose a product over other companies. So after customer acquisition, a company should try to make a long-term relationship with the customers because it can convince the customers to buy more products. Therefore, to successfully expand sales, we need to know our customer segments well, including their preferences, social wants, and fears. Let's see how has Pania Local made a long-term relationship with its customers. As you can see, the company supports producers in their daily use of the software and provides services online to them, including adaptive and evolving maintenance, personal assistance package, and so on. In addition, they listen to their customers in order to further adapt the platform to their needs. Now it's time to set a price for the created value. A company can set revenue streams for each segment of the customer, and each stream has its own pricing mechanisms and life cycle. In general, a business model includes two types of revenue streams. The first is single payment transactions, and the second is 
recurring revenue from ongoing payments due to the recurring services or after sales supports. And looking at the company, they have two kinds of revenue streams. The first is the entrance cost, which they charge the customers for 150 euros. And this is the single payment. And the subscription for a monthly price, which varies for single producers and groups of farmers, which is the recurring payment. The latter constitutes the main revenue of Pania Local to run and develop the platform. Okay, here you can see the right hand side of the Pania Local's business model canvas. As you can see, the company has identified different customer segments' needs and based on that has created a valuable tool for them. In addition, through different channels, the company has tried to distribute its tool to different customers and in this way, they have tried to make a long-term relationship with customers. Finally, all these steps have come to two kinds of revenue streams for the company. All right. Now that you are familiar with the right hand side of the business model canvas, you can do a home task like the previous sessions. Please read through the case and follow the instructions. And you can also find the link in the video description if you are watching the video on YouTube. When you are finished, you can compare your work to what my colleagues and I have already done. Finally, let me point out that a company can create value in three different ways. The first is creating new value, which is the hardest strategy because we have to create something from scratch. For example, developing a new product or entering another segment of the market. The next is creating more value, which is an easier strategy because we work with what we already have. For instance, the greater efficiency of processes. And the last is creating better value, which is another easy strategy. And it focuses on improving what already exists. For example, focusing on quality, quantity, or more power behind what we already have. Now we are done with the third session. And here you can see our reference list. You can read through them if you want to learn more about the right hand side of the business model canvas. And if you have any question, you're very welcome to send us email. See you in the next session and thank you so much for listening.